Hello, welcome to the channel, Masters of the Universe Club. This is a book club episode, and my name is Keith Fredrickson. My goal is to help you master your universe in bite-sized chunks. Every week I go chapter by chapter through a recommended book, and I discuss one small thing that inspired me and will hopefully inspire you to take action in your life. Uh, if you're listening to the audio version, we are reading the book Sleep Smarter by Sean Stevenson. Please buy the book through my affiliate link, uh, which will help the channel and read along with me and hopefully master your universe. If you want to hear a more deep dive discussion, please consider joining my Patreon, which will also be linked in the description. We are up to chapter 17, which is to use smart supplementation. In this chapter, he recommends, Sean recommends um, six different natural supplements to use to help you sleep better. And none of them are melatonin. So, um, but, but I want to cover just one of them and the first one. So I'm going to read directly from the book. Chamomile. And I know you've, everyone's heard of chamomile. This herb has been used for thousands of years to treat everything from skin disorders to heart disease to infl- from, from skin disorders to heart disease to inflammation. Today, numerous studies are proving the true efficacy of this ancient plant. For example, a study highlighted in molecular medicine reports showed that chamomile flavonoids have significant anti-inflammatory properties and trigger COX-2 enzyme activity that reduces physical pain. The study also asserts that chamomile can be used as a mild sedative and sleep and sleep inducer. The sedative effect, the sedative effects appear to be due in large part to a particular flavonoid called apigenin. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This compound is abundant in chamomile tea and it binds to certain GABA receptors in the brain, naturally calming nervous system activity. Again, because it's a natural compound found in foods and medicinal herbs, it's going to tend to have additional health benefits rather than a full page of potential negative side effects. Epigenin has also been found to be, very, to be a very potent anti-cancer compound. Research published in the International Journal of Oncology and the Journal of Pharmaceutical Research identified that epigenin is protective against a wide variety of cancers, including cancers of the breast, digestive tract, skin, and prostate, and has high selectivity against cancer cells as opposed to non-cancerous cells. Okay, I'm going to stop there. I don't want to read the whole book to you. And like I said, he goes through six different um, <clears throat> more natural sleep aids, um, and none of them are melatonin. He does have a section on melatonin, um, And uh, the basic message is to be cautious about melatonin use. But the reason I read the bit about chamomile is because I want this podcast to be inspirational. And so if you weren't listening or if you or just to restate it, (laughs) the the chamomile does have a, a, a chemical in it that binds to certain receptors uh, in your nervous system, which are calming, reduce pain. And so that's where the sleep aid comes in. But there are also chemicals in chamomile that are anti-cancer. And so I, I don't want to have, <clears throat> I'm very careful, I'm hopefully very careful not to be super negative on this, on this show in general. Um, and so I don't want this to be some kind of anti, um, anti-pharmaceutical rant. And so rather, um, what, what I'd rather 
say is that uh, just think of it this way. <clears throat> our body, when we were walking around and our, and our human bodies were developing evolutionarily um, hundreds of thousands of years, over hundreds of thousands of years, we were not interacting with isolated, nothing was isolated. We were not interacting with isolated chemicals of any sort. Everything was blended into our environment. And so it's not that, it's not even that, you know, these chemicals are magical in some way, although I, I may I may go on to say that they, they are in some senses, but um, it's not, it's just that that's the way our body is used to interacting with the environment. And so there is a... I don't even want to say intelligence, but I've heard it said so many times. There's an intelligence there. I guess you can say it's an intelligence. Our body has learned to deal with our environment in in um, in the way that it's represented. So like it, it's like eating a leaf versus eating some chemical compound that was isolated from the leaf. And if you think of that in terms of like, alcohol right the al- the alcohol that you drink is in effect an isolation a distillation because some alcohols are literally distilled it's an isolation of that chemical and it makes it p- potentially incomprehensibly more uh more strong stronger more powerful in your system on the one hand on the other hand <clears throat> when we're taking in these chemicals, so if you're taking in chamomile tea, you're taking the actual leaves, putting them in water, you're boiling it up, and not just the chemical that's that's helping you sleep is coming out of that leaf. All the chemicals, or, or, or many of them, whatever's water-soluble, right, is coming into the water. So you're getting all these other chemicals, and, and just put it simply, that's just the way our body is used to receiving these things. It's used to receiving a mixture, not an isolation. So, and, and that's great. It's wonderful. And it's something that we should have in the back of our mind at all times. But, so, so that's the one part of it. The other part of it is that I didn't know that chamomile was anti-cancer. In fact, I always thought that chamomile was kind of like bullshit, like it didn't really work. People say, oh yeah, chamomile calms you down. I will go out and buy some organic chamomile tea now and, and drink it so happily knowing that there are potential, that it is calming and it's a natural, um, more gentle way to... Um, to get these positive effects. And plus, there are um, these, these reported and studied anti-cancer effects. Um, and besides, and plus, who knows what else? Um, we're just tipping the, t- we're, just, we're just looking at the tip of the iceberg here with some of these things. So um, there's a natural, you know, intelligence, beauty, effectiveness in all these natural things. So I want you to um, just absorb that and, and, um, and that's it. This has gone way too long. Thanks for watching. Please buy the book through my affiliate link uh, below. Help my channel out. Uh, read along with me. Master your universe. If you want to hear a deeper dive, please consider joining my Patreon, which will also be linked in the description. Finally, if there's a book that you feel changed your life. I want to know about it. Please include a link in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.